Here it is, folks. Uh, Tim here, Newbies Outdoors. I'm on one of my great adventure camping trips at the Buffalo River National Forest. And you talking about a beautiful place to camp out. I was able to get back here with a trailer. I was wondering about these rocks here. Uh, there's actually white-tailed deer here, mule deer here. There's actually uh, elk. Hope to find a turkey here in Arkansas. I'm doing a little turkey hunting in the morning. I'm on one of my uh, hunt sales adventures. Got the slide-in camper all hooked up uh, since the last video and got my propane stove put in and my tank holder built for it. And uh, like I say, I'm out on the road uh, trying to get dealers up here in Harrison, Arkansas. I've been to Marshall, be going back to Marshall in the morning and talking to dealers. Uh, about the blinds and the grow master's deer mineral maybe stocking pal feed but hey the camper is gonna is really nice tonight out here got the ac running got my quiet little generator going and uh i want to show you this uh this place right here it is beautiful here on the buffalo river uh, i think we're on carter carter campsite I think it's spelled C-A-R-T-E-R. -E uh, but if you get a chance to come down here, there's a ton of campsites all over the place. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, this water is so clear. You can, like, see the bottom of it. You can see fish swimming out there. It is something else. And uh, and you're talking about a view. kind of looks like Colorado here. But uh, maybe not as pretty as Colorado, but it, it's really pretty. Uh, we'll walk on down. I'm going to be, uh, a lot of people are doing canoeing here. I'm going to be doing uh, a turkey hunt in the morning. I'm just going to walk these creeks and call and see if I can get a turkey. going to camp out tonight right here by the river. And uh, we're going to do a little walk down here. Look at these hills. There's got to be a turkey up there somewhere. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see if we can't find one. But uh, I was really wondering whether my truck would make it down here. I didn't want to get stuck in these rocks. But I got down here and got turned around pretty easily. I just stayed on the hard area where other vehicles has been parking down here camping. I didn't want to go too far with all that weight on my truck. I had a lot of weight there. I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have bothered me just to have the camper on the truck. I would have came on down, plumbed down to this point. But with that big old 20 foot trailer and loaded down with Growmaster's deer mineral, about 2,000 pounds there and 1,000 pounds worth of deer blinds, uh, you know, it's just, it's just probably about five, 6,000 pounds. I didn't want to take a chance of burying it up out here. But we're back in here. I was, I come to Western Grove, Arkansas and checked on one of my best stores in Arkansas for my deer mineral. And trying to set them up as a dealer and uh, I decided you know I'm just gonna come down here and camp out tonight the heck with a motel room I got a nice camper on my truck and beautiful scenery you won't get this in town folks you won't get this kind of scenery in town and uh, I can wake up in the morning go turkey hunting and guess what ain't nobody gonna be knocking on my door telling me that uh, check out time nine o'clock <laughs> and now <laughs> but i'm gonna be up uh, at daylight uh <clears throat> after these turkeys i'm gonna just walk around through this creek because i know birds like uh they like water and they like gravel actually turkeys have to have gravel to digest their food so usually if you find water you find turkeys as long as they haven't been bumped too far out but I'll see if I can't hear one this evening to put uh, to put on the roost. All right, I'm gonna go on back to the camper here. I, I hope y'all enjoy my videos. I'm gonna be bringing you on several hunts and, and videos with me. Just look at these rocks. Aren't these the prettiest rocks you ever seen? Wow. I'd like to take them all home with me. Look at them, some of them's dished out, it's really unique. 
you just don't get no prettier than this here in Arkansas. And you folks that's, that's never been down here on the Buffalo River, you're really missing out. Uh, it's worth looking at. Uh, this is about my third trip to Buffalo River. And uh, I hope it's not my last. I want to keep coming back. But uh, you, uh, I hope y'all like this video and, and subscribed and share this video. Uh, that's the only way I can keep bringing you videos like this is I got to have some people interested in subscribing. and just tell uh, if you will leave a comment tell me if you like the video or or if you think it kind of sucks <laughs> either way it won't hurt my feelings but just comment on it and uh, like in the morning I'm going to bring another video hopefully I can get a nice tom on film I'm going to try to take one with my bow and I'm going to do a video of the inside of the camper people want to know about the slide in camper how much it costs to build them one and and i tell them i'm like uh, i'm not going to build any more out of wood they're too heavy we're going to build them out of this uh heavy duty foam covered in rhino liner i'm working with a company called uh, rhino building products and they are building a awesome they've been building awesome deer and duck blinds for I think over 10 years now and so I teamed up with them to build these slide-in campers now to get one built we can build one for any size automobile uh, we'll need 50% down and the rest on complete now we priced it at $8,500 for a hull and that's with nothing in it but if you want it wired and sink stove fridge it's going to bring the price to 12.5 that's a brand new camper and uh, see this blind right here it's a six by six seven foot tall and i think it weighs 250 pounds and this blind here only weighs like 190 pounds and they're never going to rot or anything it's made out of high density foam i've seen some 10 years old and they they're not rotting or anything they still look brand new in fact the there's no paint to peel because the color is inside the material and they can do several colors i kind of like the tan and i like the green and black on this that i built now i built this out of wood and then i covered it in a rhino liner coating but not as good a material as they have uh, but the new ones will be built out of the rhino uh, blind material because Building it out of wood is just way too heavy and too expensive. We're still only about 1,500 pounds out of wood, but why not Why not go a lighter weight and nothing will ever rot and decay and get it out of the rhino liner. Now I'm just plugged in 110 and then uh, I got my stove in. I want to show y'all my, my new stove I put in. I decided to go ahead and go with a... Uh, domatic stove uh, and it looks really nice I went ahead and mounted in because I got tired of setting that other and up and down but it's ready to go folks uh, you know you just uh, turn it on right here and uh, then you pick up on this to let it down and also since my last video I put in a pump for my sink and I got this at, uh, I got this on Amazon for like $12 or $15 with shipping and all. It's like $22. And I'm telling you, it is awesome. You, what you do is you charge this up and it's got two different settings. You push one, you'll see water comes out. Plenty of water. Wash your hands, wash dishes off. It would take a while to fill up a, you know, one gallon bucket. And then you push it again to turn it off and it'll automatic shut off after it's so many ounces on there as you can see but uh my nice little cutting board here gonna do some supper uh i was gonna show you my setup underneath here because people always ask about it uh my holding my my tanks are down here uh of course when we build this out of rhino liner it's gonna be a whole lot better but anyway, we got a garbage can here, and then I got my holding tanks with a hose put in it, and a porta potty over here with a drawer, 
and I built me some nice little shelving there. And we're planning on putting something over this eventually. But I took my table down, and I just didn't use my table a lot. This is a radio here. We're going to play it later. And uh, I made me a nice little sleeping area here, lounge area. Remember, we're in a six-foot by uh, not even six-foot wide truck bed by six-and-a-half-foot long. Then up here, we got uh, like six-foot wide here, and we go back four-and-a-half feet. So there's plenty enough room for two people and from here to here we're at about uh i'll have to measure it i'm gonna say about 32 34 inches which is plenty of room i got my backpack up here i use my bow my storage for my bow and my gun and everything up here and uh, got these nice little night lights put in and that way you don't even have to have electricity going and so it's come along really nice got my clothes still got to put my clothes up here but i got some warm clothes here because it gets cool here at night or in the morning but uh i'm i'm glad y'all are following me on this and I'd like to take you on several adventures out on the road in the little slide-in camper i've seen a lot of slide-in campers out there on the market but what i'm what i'm actually seeing they get these campers and they're not satisfied with them because they got something that weighs 3,000 pounds and their truck won't hardly pull it. It just squats it down. Well, we're under 1,500 pounds. And then when we do the, the other uh, camper, it'd be about 800 pounds uh, made out of the Rhino liner. And another thing, they don't have a shower, but guess what? Right under this mat, we have, we have a drain. This is where I take my shower. And people's like, well, you'll get it all over everything. No, you really won't. Though, if you just take your time, and and I've got this little portable shower right here I bought off Amazon for like 50 bucks. It's got a pump. You push it down. You heat your water up on the stove. You put it over here. You don't have to mess with a hot water heater. You just push this down and hold it. The light comes on, and your water comes right out. If I had some water here, I'd demonstrate it. But I showed it on my other videos. You just pull that down and water. It comes out very well. You can look at one of my other videos where I'm taking a shower using it. But anyway, uh, it's pretty awesome, you know. And I can use this to rinse dishes. Or I, it also came with a bag that I put water in that you can go out and rinse your truck off, your horse, your dog, whatever you want to do with that thing. It's pretty awesome. One of the best 50 bucks I ever spent. I think it was like 34 but the time shipping got here and everything is about 50 bucks, $51. But it's well worth it. I've took several showers on one charge. You just charge it up with a USB cord and uh, like a C charger. Right, the same one I use for my phone, actually. And I just charge it up right here. Got some nice little night lights in here. Also, since the last video, I was using a 1500-watt heater. Now I've got just a little plug-in heater that's pretty dang awesome. Uh, I don't have it out right now or I'd show it to you. It's only 350 watts and you can just plug it right into your socket. And uh, hold on a minute and I'll, I'll get it out and I'll show it to you. Let's see. Evidently, oh, I must have put it up underneath the other counter over there. Anyway. I'll have to show it to you later, but it's only 350 watts, and so the generator works fine, and that's all it takes to heat this. It's got a thermostat where it cuts it off. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and uh, hit the subscribe button, and tell people about our products and our, our adventures. I'm going to take you on a lot of adventures. Look at that mountain right there. All right, I'm going to get off here, and I'm going to start a campfire and enjoy the scenery. And I'm going to get back with y'all on another YouTube video. And I'm going to show you more and more adventures. Uh, I'm going to be in Missouri, Arkansas, Kansas. Uh, I, I'm a big archery hunter, so I'm going to be archery hunting a lot this year. And I can't wait to go to some of those campsites that I used to sleep in in a tent and freeze to death. And I usually end up in a motel room. It was so cold. But now I've got it whooped now with this uh, beautiful slide-in camper. 
and I hope one day I can make you one also. And we can add more windows. People have requested more windows. But I made this thing pretty simple. You know, I made it to keep the cost down. And, uh, you know, a lot of people can't afford $30,000, $40,000 for a camper. I know I couldn't, especially after I bought my truck. But, uh, but anyway, uh, if you need a camper from anywhere from 8500 to 8500 for the hull and 125 for the complete setup with everything, and it's going to look nicer than mine, and you'll have your own custom color, just hit me up, 501-283-2882, or you can comment on this video, 501-283-2882, and... I'm looking forward to seeing you on the road also having fun in your slide-in camper. Later.